One of the most exciting times for any young stallion stud career is the arrival of his first crop of foals, and one horse who has his connection singing his praises is Lope Fernandez, who stands in the national stud but is owned by a group of shrewd industry players who are throwing their weight behind him. The team behind the impressive son of Lope de Vega tell us about the support he has received and indeed the support that his progeny will have further down the line. The year prior to Lope Fernandez being available, um, I was noticing, um, kind of post Brexit being announced, that all of these top racehorses were, were going to stand in you know, primarily Ireland because a lot of the, the breeders are, are, are based in Ireland. And it was concerning to me. Um, so I, I spoke to a lot of UK breeders and I said, come on, we need to get, we need to get our, ourselves organised here so when the right horse comes on the market, we can do something about it. We really weren't planning on buying a new stallion last year. Um, we, we were having a busy year at Whitsbury and we wanted to give Sergey Prokofiev a, a, another year in the limelight. But when I went and saw Lope Fernandez, I just thought, this is a horse we need to get involved with. I got talking with the National Stud and Nick Bradley and thought, you know, can we put uh, a group together, you know, bring three studs together with Coolmore to buy Lope Fernandez and stand him here. Once we'd uh, agreed uh, the split of the partnership, uh, we've, we've stood in here and it couldn't have gone any better. I think it's a principle of we're stronger together, so to incorporate um, really prominent breeders such as Westbury Manor, who have most, had the most unbelievable year, uh, alongside Nick Bradley as well, um, coming together to really support a stallion that deserves his chance at stud here in the UK. One of his best qualities is the way he walks, he's such an athletic horse, he stands well over 16 hands, um, he's got that deep dark colour to him which breeders love and, um, and physically he's just a very imposing horse. As the only son of Luke de Vega standing here in Great Britain, it, it offers breeders here the opportunity to access some of the best sire lines in the world. Luke de Vega's done amazing things over the last uh, number of years and now he's without a doubt a sire is a sire. So to offer breeders here that opportunity is something we're really, we're really looking forward to doing. His first book was he was incredibly well supported. His study covered 135 mares. His fertility is exceptional. So a, lot, a, a large majority of them were, were in full. Uh, and then going into this season, he's been again supported by some of the best breeders around who, who recognize that as a son of Lifted Vegas standing here in Great Britain, um, offers them the chance to breed a really good racehorse. So, uh, yeah, so we had four fulls born so far. Um, the guys, the falling team, are waxy lyrical about th um, three of them. The best one, or certainly one that stands out to my eye at the moment, would be uh, one out of a mare called Spain Blues. She produced uh, Spain Berg, who won the Rockfell Stakes here, to Culp, um, and he's got a great shoulder, he's got a great hip. I mean, you can't just do action yet, but I'd be amazed if he didn't have a great action to go with it. Uh, I think we've got 25 on the list to send him this season and we'll be buying his foals as well in the, in the ring like we usually try and support. So really, he's, a, he, he's, he's under the Whitsbury banner, he's just standing with, with uh, the National Stud and getting all the benefit from being right in the heart of Newmarket. This year we'll be sending double figure mares to him. I'm actually at the sale, just going to buy some, some here for him. Um, and then down the line, I'll be looking when the full sales happen. Obviously, we'll be selling foals at that sale, but I'll be very busy because I'll be trying to buy the best Lope Fernandez Philly foals to then be part of the racing organisation. Um, and then when the yearly sales come round, same thing again. I'll be out there trying to buy the best Philly foals. This is the beauty of the syndicate. I think we all bring uh, something to the table. Uh, we're supporting him heavily with Whitsbury Mares. Uh, the National Stud are doing a great job marketing the horse and locationally, you know, it couldn't be better. We've plonked him right in the middle of the mare population, so we thank the National Stud for that. Uh, Nick is sending a lot of his mares as well, but where Nick will really come into his own with the Stallion Partnership is he buys a lot of yearlings for a very successful syndicate. So I've never been involved in a Stallion that's not just had the supply side of the mares helping him, but actually the demand side behind the earlings as well, which it's fairly unique for a commercially priced horse.